A bittersweet day for hundreds of Army Reserve families in the Inland Northwest. The 455th Engineering Company, based out of Hayden, Idaho, deployed to Afghanistan today. Our Casey Lund was there. Talk to proud families that know all too well the sacrifice their loved ones are making. The soldiers here are unique. They're reserve soldiers. That means they have active lives, jobs here in the community, and balancing that with their deployment can be a struggle. But the families I talk to know their loved ones are prepared to make that transition from citizen soldier to warrior citizen. Based out of Hayden, Idaho, the 455th Engineer Company deploys today for a year. The work they'll be doing in Afghanistan is no small task. They'll be clearing the way, running route clearance packages through um, Afghanistan, and our main mission is to um, find and defeat all IEDs along route to clear the way for coalition forces. For that year, these soldiers put their lives here in the inland northwest on hold. Your life does revolve around um, your army schedule and the rest of life happens but you always have that that comes first because you have to um, schedule around it. Deanne Peterson has an older son who's deployed already and made it home but this is Private Victor Peterson's first time going to war. Very proud one and two that I know in my heart that God takes care of my child wherever he is in the world and that's what has made this army mom get through it. Another army mom more proud than scared Linda Cagle. I really think that the Army's going to take good care of him and that he's going to be fine and that I believe in God. Her son Alex just bought a home here. He grew up in Spokane and he this is his home and he just, went to yeah, um, St. Pascal's and then Gonzaga Prep and he graduated from Eastern Washington University. It's a safe return we hope for. Our community's latest group of heroes receive a hero's goodbye. Appreciation and kind words for the work they've done and encouragement for the task they have ahead of them. Proud. I'm always proud of them. I'm proud of all of our soldiers. I'm proud of everybody. It's huge for them. Um, you know, none of us want to be forgotten that we're still over there, still fighting, still doing our job. Reporting in Spokane Valley, Casey Lund, KXLY 4 News.